Great. Needs a quarter to work. Damn. Built solid. <laughs> Something like this. This barricade does a good job of making me not want to go any further. Better not. Gunfire would just bring more walkers. markings. They're all over the place. Could be military tags, but what do they mean? Hello, beautiful. Empty. Yeah, that would have been too easy. Someone already looted the place. Must have taken weeks to board up all these windows. Looks like the whole city has been boarded up, for all the good it did. I should probably stick close to Kenny. It's too dangerous out here. Someone must have been trying to back their boat into the water. Only things didn't go as planned. Fuck! What's up with the boat? It ain't gonna work. Hulls crack beneath the water line, plus someone stripped out the battery. You can't fix it? What the... what the hell is that? A fate worse than death. Abandoned, like every other place in this city. Plenty of docks, no boats. No sign of any boats down there. No way that one's salvageable. Nothing but water, not a boat to be seen. What the hell? Get down! Get down!
the hell are we hiding? Someone came down from that building at the end of the street. Where'd he go? Saw him run into that newsstand. Could be our bell ringer. How about we go find out? Sounds like a plan. Okay, you head up the middle of the street. I'll go around the side, cover your flank. We'll come up on him quiet, take him by surprise. We just want to talk to this guy. Oh, we're gonna talk. from Crawford. You're not the guy on the radio. I'm not a guy at all. Full marks for observation. Kenny, don't! He's with us! Who the hell are you people? Everyone just calm down. I'll calm down once she tells me who the fuck she is. Back off, asshole. The name's Molly. Molly? I'm Lee. This is Kenny and Clementine. Not looking for any trouble. Hi. You guys really aren't from Crawford, are you? I don't even know what that is. Everything beyond that barricade. What the hell happened here? You sure you want to know? When everything started going to shit, some people got together and sealed off that whole neighborhood. Folks willing to do anything to stay alive, stop the dead getting in. I try to avoid them. Why? Let's just say they have a zero-tolerance policy for anyone who won't, or can't, live by their rules. So how'd you know we weren't them? Because there are no children in Crawford. Not anymore. What do you mean, no children? Why not? No children, no elderly, no one with an advanced medical condition. Basically, no one who might be a burden on the community. Crawford's all about the survival of the fittest. That's how they survived, while the rest of the world went to shit around them. Jesus Christ. Well, just the opposite, when you think about it. Still, children, you're not saying me. In God's name, why? No one stays in Crawford unless they can pull their own weight. Otherwise, you're just another mouth to feed, another drain on their precious resources. What does that mean, pull their own weight? It just means being able to help out, like you do all the time. Doesn't sound like any kind of way to live to me. I couldn't agree more. How do you know all this? Everyone in Savannah knew. What was going on inside Crawford got passed around like a ghost story. Except this one was true. Do you know who 
who's been ringing those bells all over town? Yeah, that would be me. I knew it! Lee, I knew she was the one who'd been following us! Fucking with us! Get that finger out of my face, Grandpa, before I jam it straight up your ass. I haven't been following you. I don't even know who the hell you people are. Calm down, Kenny. The voice on the radio was a guy, remember? Yeah, well, whoever you are, ringing those bells this morning nearly got us all killed. Raise the dead all around us. That's the idea, genius. It's how I get around. I ring a bell in one neighborhood to attract the local geeks towards it. Buys me some time to scavenge the area as they cleared out. Geeks? Is that what you call them? Yeah, you know, like at the carnival? They'll eat anything, alive or dead. That's pretty smart, with the bells. Doesn't take much to outsmart the dead. Bunch of dumbasses. You just gotta move fast, get in and out before they start to wander back again. Look, I'm gonna ask you people again. You're not from Crawford, so who the hell are you? What are you doing here? Came down here looking for a boat. Hoping to get our people out of here and find someplace safe. Yeah, good luck with that. Anyone with a boat took it out of here as soon as people started eating each other. Any that got left behind, Crawford stripped them for parts. Cars, too. There's gotta be something. If there was, do you think I'd still be here? I've been over every inch of this city. This whole place is picked clean. God damn it! Fuck! Hey, moron. You wanna keep your voice down? Shit. Since you're not getting on any boat, I'd advise you folks to go back to where you came from before... Great. Just great. Isn't that the... the way we came? Fuck. Gunshot must have brought him back. Isn't there another way back to the house? Mom, is there a... Hey! You're just gonna leave us here? Sorry, I must have missed that part of our conversation where you became my problem. Don't leave us here! Please! <sighs> Come on! Make it fast! Clementine, can you hear me? If you can hear me, just get back to the house, okay? I'll meet you there.
Phoenix Park. Save the last one for himself. You deserve better, old man. It's okay. I, I don't want any trouble. 
Neither do we. Which is why you'd do well to turn around and leave right now. Look, I'm sorry I disturbed you folks. I'll just be going. You can't let him leave. He's from Crawford. If he goes back there and they find out we're down here... Are you from Crawford? They don't lie to me. I know. Where else can he be from? Everywhere else around here is dead. I'm not from around here. I'm from Athens. Grew up in Macon. I have a brother in Macon. You were there? How was it? As bad as here? I'm sorry. You can't trust him, Vernon. You can't let him leave. What do you want me to do? Shoot him in the head? Why not? Be more of a mercy than anyone from Crawford ever showed us. Think, Vernon. What do you think they'll do if they find out we're down here, right under their feet? Damn it. You're right. I'm sorry, friend. Can't take the risk. Look, I don't want to do this. Let's talk, okay? What's to talk about? You won't even tell us who you are. My name is Lee. I'm a history professor. And I don't want to die today. And I don't think you want to kill me either. Don't. Don't come any closer, or I'll shoot. Come on. Let's just talk about this. Vernon, what are you doing? Shoot him! Nobody needs to get shot. Just take it easy. It's all right. It's okay. Vernon, what the hell are you doing? Vernon! Relax. I'm not here to hurt you. You're really not from Crawford? No. I'm really not. Well, we are, or were. We got out of there when they started sealing up the place, you know, started weeding out the sick and the old so their perfect survivor society wouldn't be threatened. No room for weakness or vulnerability in their little master race. You don't look that old, so you're sick? We're sick. We're all members of a cancer survivors group that used to meet here at the hospital. We're in remission. But that wasn't good enough for Crawford. They'd already rounded up five of us before the rest of us managed to hole up and hide from them down here. This old basement's been abandoned for years. What is this? A morgue? Yeah. Irony's always high on my list when I'm looking for a place to survive. How did you find your way down here? A few of us got boxed in by walkers up on the street. Came down here trying to get away. Now I just want to get out of here and get back to my own people. Well, that sewer system you came through runs all over the city. It'll take you wherever you want to go. Those sewers are like a damn maze. Any chance you could help me find my way back? Look, I'd like to help you, but we've all got our own problems. Two of our group are sick and need constant care, and I'm the only doctor here. Besides, why should we help you? If you've got sick people here, maybe I can help. Our group has medical supplies. What kind of medical supplies? I don't know. All kinds. I'm sure there's something you could use. We'd be happy to trade some for a guide back to where we're staying. Vern, we need medicine. Joyce is in a lot of pain. I can't bear to see her like this. Maybe it's worth the risk. Maybe so. We need you here. Don't worry. I'll be all right. Clementine? Clem? Molly? Oh, hey, you made it back. Who's this? He didn't tell you about me? Understandable, I guess. I'm the one who put that beating on him when he tried to jump me back at the river. Who's the fossil? Where's Clementine? She's around here somewhere. Relax. I got her and Kenny both back safely. You're welcome, by the way. I think you have something that belongs to me.
Lee, thank God you're back. Krista, what's wrong? It's Omid. He's gotten worse. Much worse. We have a man wounded. Who's this? This is Vernon. He's a doctor. Oh, thank God. Could you take a look at him? I'll need to see those medical supplies. What medical supplies? Uh, sorry, Doc. Had to get you on board somehow. Well, you just get better and better, don't you? You have to help us. Please. I'll see what I can do. Take me to him. Omid, honey. You're gonna be all right. Lee brought a doctor. All right, let's take a look at him. I work better without an audience. I'm sure you have more things of your own to attend to. Clementine. Clementine? Clementine, you here? Clem? Hello? What are you doing? Oh, uh, you know. Just poking around. You won't find anything. We already searched the place. You'd be surprised what people miss. Trust me, I've been doing this for a while. Where's Clementine? Don't ask me, I'm not her keeper. Hey, do I look like I'm in the mood to be jerked around? Where did she go? Last I saw, she was downstairs with your redneck friend and that college kid who hangs around with him. Why don't you go bug them? Find Clementine. Clem, Clementine. Clementine, come out, please. Kenny? Oh, hey, you made it back. Good job. Good job. What the hell do you think you're doing? What does it look like? Where'd you get the bottle? Found it. First good thing that's happened since... Hey, take it easy. I think you've had enough. To hell with you! Getting wasted's not gonna help anyone. Yeah? Well, what is? We are fucked! Molly said there's not a single boat left in Savannah. No way out. We got walkers all around us, that crazy fuck on the radio messing with us. Hell, if now ain't the time for a drink? Have either of you seen Clementine? Damned if I know. Gotta be around here somewhere. Ben, I gave you one job when I left here. Take care of Clementine. Then she shows up out on River Street looking for me. What the hell happened? Hey, don't put all that on me. Omid took a turn for the worse, and Krista asked me to help. I'm sorry, I'm doing the best I can here. She was frantic, and things got kinda crazy. I told Clementine to stay put. What else could I do? That's not good enough. Whatever. Don't give me that whatever shit. Just tell me where she is. I think she went out to play in the backyard. On her own? With no one watching her? Man, will you get off my back? She's fine out there. She better be or it's your ass.
Clementine? Clementine! Girl, come look, look what I found. Whoa, I know, right? 